Yes, again, today I have my March favorites, and I actually have two kind of fails this month. So, like, I feel like I never mention things that I didn't like, because, I don't know, I'm a very positive person, but I know that it's beneficial to also know the things I don't like. So, I figured these two were ones that were kind of glaringly products that I just, that just didn't work for me, so I'm gonna mention them as well. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is this foundation that I'm wearing today, and it is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. I'm wearing the shade 101 Classic Ivory. I'm wearing it today. I actually have filmed a lot of review demos today, so you'll see this outfit a few times. Um, and this is one of the ones that I'm reviewing, so when it's up, I'll put the link below. But this just gives such a flawless satin finish that I, I think I might wear it on my wedding day. I was talking about doing the Revlon Color Stay Whipped, which I also love, but this one I think is even better. The only downside is, well, it's a good thing. It has SPF of 20, but for photos, like for my wedding, that might flash back, so I'm gonna have to test it out with some flash photography and see, but this stuff is amazing. It's like $6. Another favorite this month is my NYX HD Concealer. I have it in the lightest, lightest shade. It's in porcelain, I think. Yeah, porcelain is what it's called. I'm wearing it today on one of my eyes. The other one, I'm wearing a NARS one. And I'm putting up that video as well. I'm not even gonna tell you which one is which. I love this stuff so much. It's like $4.99. It is amazing, it does not budge throughout the day, and it gives, I think, a really moisturized yet flawless look. I love it so much. Whew. But the video that I'm talking about is one where I'm comparing this to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, so um, check that out if you're curious if this is a dupe for it or not. I think you might have an idea if it is or not. <laughs> Another favorite this month is the IT Cosmetics Tightline Mascara. Now this um, was sent to me by IT Cosmetics along with a lot of them, but it's one of the standout products to me. There were a lot of products that I didn't love, but this is one that I did. And it's got this tiny, tiny brush with it. And the idea is that you kind of tight line with it. You just wiggle it right at the base of your lashes to blacken that area up, but also to separate your lashes and lengthen them. You're supposed to... I used this before applying my regular mascara that I'm using that day. I think this is amazing. This is the waterproof one, and it is amazing for your lower lashes. Again, probably another wedding day thing that I'm gonna use because it's waterproof, so when I'm crying, it won't, you know, be all over my face. Another favorite of mine is one from the Dollar Tree. And if you haven't seen my Dollar Tree hauls, what are you waiting on? Everything's a dollar, it's amazing. I found this L'Oreal Color Riche Le Gloss there, and it is in the shade Pucker Up Pink, and it's just this really shimmery, sheer wash of color, but there's something about the flecks of shimmer in this that makes your lips look so big and healthy and juicy, but not ridiculous. It's just the perfect balance. I think they still sell these in drugstores as well for like the regular six or seven dollar price, but I found like every single shade at the Dollar Tree, and I'm pretty sure I bought almost every single shade, but this is my favorite out of all the ones that I bought. I love it. Speaking of lips, one of the duds this month is this Cargo Lip Gloss. Now, Cargo is an expensive brand. This is in the shade Anguilla, A-N-G-U-I-L-L-A. Anguilla? I don't know. And upon first glance, the packaging is cute. It's this light pink color. I was like, oh, I'll love that. I think I got this in some sort of subscription box or something. And when you swatch it, it even looks pretty. It's this nice light pink. It kind of looks very opaque. When you apply it to your lips, it instantly pa clings on to anything, dry, flaky, um, but not, but it's weird because it's kind of a moisturizing formula, or at least you'd think, but it clings on and then it will not, if anything is wet, it'll like stay away from it. I mean, like it's like literally same size of a magnet. They're just opposing each other. And so like the inside of your lip, like nothing will even go near it. I don't know how to describe it. So it was like crazy separated right away and I kept like kind of, going like that to try and get it more inside and it was it was ridiculous i don't know it was just the weirdest thing and i'm so sad because it's so pretty but i mean it was terrible upon first applying it and it never got better i had to wipe it off after an hour i'm like this is unbelievable i've never experienced this so stay away stay away my favorite nail polish this month is actually the one i'm wearing on my nails right now again this might be the one i wear on my wedding day and it's one of the sally hansen miracle gel 
nail polishes and it's in the shade creme de la creme and it's just a really nice almost white color i feel like these are really in style right now everyone's kind of going crazy over these almost white colors like a pinkish white or a minty white or a light blue white and i've been kind of buying a few here and there but this is the one that's kind of stood out to me i really liked the formula it's you're supposed to like this is step one and then you're supposed to do a step two like top coat of the same brand i use whatever top coat i want sometimes it's such feet sometimes it's another sally hansen one i don't know that it matters i might eventually buy it just to try it because if it's if they really are amazing together and they very well may be that would make it even better but i just like this color and i have an eyeshadow palette favorite and i just did a demo i'm actually wearing this on my eyes today it's the l'oreal la palette but specifically the palette nude number one and it's just got all of these beautiful natural neutral shades it's got a really nice mix of matte and satiny shimmery ones they're not like insanely buttery pigmented and if you watch my video you'll see what i mean but they're really i think blendable i showed how i do this eye look in that video as well I really, really was impressed with this palette. I thought it was great. If you've never bought a palette before and you're looking for where to start, I think this is great. But even not just for starters, I think it is just a great palette. The number two palette, which I also show in that video, I like, but it's just not colors I wear a lot. So it just, I haven't been using it. But this one I've been using every single day for like two weeks now. Uh, lipstick favorite. This is a rediscovered one. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Pink in the Afternoon. It's just this really nice kind of darker pink color. I'm wearing this today and I just think, first of all, the formula of these are so un... Sorry, I want more. <laughs> the formula of these are so unbelievable. They're so creamy and yet they stay on all day. They never feel dry. They wear off evenly throughout the day. I just... I forgot how amazing these are and I only own two. I own this one and then I own one called Primrose, which is more of a bluish baby pink and it's not as wearable as I thought it was. Um, so I'm that one I might be passing on soon. I don't know but pink in the afternoon is such a beautiful neutral everyday color I love it so much if you find it in stores pick it up I feel like no one talks about this shade and I love it so much So two more products the first one I'm gonna mention is one that I love and the last one's gonna be another dud So I have fallen in love with this NYC smooth skin loose face powder I just have the translucent one. They have a couple other shades. I think these are like three dollars at the drugstore and I I'm just now getting into loose powders, but I've gotten a re I've got a couple really expensive ones I've got some more natural ones and then I have this one and this is the one I keep reaching for because I, I only apply it in my t-zone But I think it does a nice job of mattifying and setting my powder without looking cakey I don't really know how it does it now if you apply too much it totally of course will look cakey But I feel like it make it lets my skin breathe but still makes it look just that little bit more flawless I love this so much. I would suggest uh, taking off it comes with like a um, sifter on top and I just kind of pried it off and threw it away that way you can just dip your brush right in tap it off because when you're dealing with the sifter and you're having to dump it out it just ends up making more of a mess than anything and I find that this is a lot easier to deal with this way the last thing I'm gonna mention I'm really sad about because I just got it and I tried it out and it like peeled off right away this is the Milani color statement nail polish and it's in the shade doll face and I put it on my toesies and it's the prettiest pink and it was opaque it applied well there was nothing weird like that but I used my normal Revlon color state base coat that I love and I use such feet on top I've been using that combo for a year and a half two years on both my toes and my nails have never had an issue this stuff peeled off like within a day it was the weirdest thing and it reminded me of when I used to apply like really cheap like kid polish like that it was so weird I might try it one more time just to see and maybe I'll try it with a different top coat I don't know or base coat but I, maybe I'll try it without a base coat because sometimes regardless I was really sad that this didn't work because it was really opaque and it's a really pretty pink color so I think I'll try it one more time just to make sure it wasn't just a weird coincidence but that's I figured it was worth mentioning I don't know if they're all this way but that was my experience with it hopefully this video was fun for you to watch if you're interested in any of my other monthly favorite videos I can link that playlist below and if you're interested in any of my drugstore reviews and demos which I usually do together in the same video I will definitely link those below because I've got a lot that I've already put up and I've got a lot more coming especially a lot of these products that I mentioned that I'll be reviewing so definitely check that out subscribe if you would and I'll catch you guys in my next one bye